Today is Wednesday, October 19th, 2016, and it's time for the Colts News. I'm Ava. And I'm Keely. Thank you for joining us here on our YouTube channel. It's college t-shirt day. What college are you representing? It's Appreciate Our Principals Week this week. Did you know? So let's give a shout out and big River Heights thank you to our admin team for the great job they are doing at our awesome school. It's time to hear a good speech. The following students are from Dr. Saf's speech and debate class. Take it away, speechifiers. I'm Matthew. I'm Natalia. I'm Hallie. I'm Selena. I'm Logan. And we're from, from Dr. Saf's speech and debate class. <laughs> What if there was no cancer or disease? If there was no cancer or disease, no one would be suffering. There will not be too much death. Hi, what if everyone donated? If everyone donated, everyone would be rich. Basically, everyone would have a home and homeless people will have care. Also, then you can buy food for your family since you might be rich. What if there was no cancer or disease? If there wasn't any cancer or diseases, people who lost their lives from it may still be alive. Also, people won't suffer. I want people to live a happy life. I want to see gigantic smiles everywhere. What if there was no bullying in the world? If there was no bullying in the world, the world would be a better place. Purely based off the fact that if there was no bullying, the no more children would be scared of school. Most of the children, a bunch of children in the USA, 17% precisely, have experienced bullying at least once in their lifetime. These, bull these bullies can happen to hit them more than once, making them scared of school or come home crying or sobbing because of the events that had happened before. If there was no bullying in the world, the world would be a happier place. No more children would come home from school crying. No more children would be lonely and depressed as they would during school with bullies. Cool, thanks for that. Boo, the trimester is almost over. Thank you for showing the Colts way in and out of the classroom. As a total, RHIS students have nearly 50,000 hero points. Way to go, Colts! <laughs> wow. <laughs> Today's day three of Digital Citizenship Week and What If Week. It's Wear Orange for What If There Was No Bullying. Let's watch this. I was always made fun of for being short. They will make fun of me and how I'm diabetic. I, uh, at my old school, I got bullied a lot. And it would be for really stupid reasons. They just find things to pick on you. They start pulling hair, fighting. Unfortunately, I have witnessed some bullying before. Um, in high school, the way it is nowadays, it's kind of hard not to, which is the really unfortunate thing. I saw this one group and it looked really fun and I wanted I wanted to be part of it, but I don't know if they were maliciously trying not to like have me be part of their group. I don't think that that was their intent, but I do think that um, they were oblivious to me and they just kind of were like, oh, hi, and then just walked about away, you know, and it, it kind of hurt. They were like, oh, she's diabetic. She can't eat this. Oh, she's diabetic. She, she, um, she can't eat sugar, that ha, 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 blah, blah, blah. And I didn't like that, so I just spoke my words, and that's it. But then I realized that that I didn't really need to be part of their their group because I saw, you know, there are other people out there that really want to be my friend. Those people didn't want to be my friend, but there are the people who do want to be my friend, and those are the people I should pursue friendships with. I think that if everyone really just saw the good in people, um, then there wouldn't be as much bullying. Uh, and so that's what I try to do. I try to see the good in everybody as much as I can. And I try to uh, welcome them or at least console them. As soon as the bullying starts, you need to put a stop to it. You need to go directly to somebody as soon as it happens. Because if not, you, the bullies will know that and they can just think that they can keep taking more advantage of you. Alrighty, Colts, make sure to tell a teacher if you're being bullied. October is anti-bullying month. Don't be a bully. Don't be a bully. On campus, um, you can go tell an adult. I don't like guys who bully. <laughs> don't let yourself get bullied. 
Bullying's not cool. It's for losers. Bullies are not welcome at River Heights. It's time for the birthday shout out. Happy birthday to these Colts. Jonathan Heredia and Manuel Montier. Happy birthday, birthday Colts. Colts. Hi. Bur birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday. Yay. Yay. It's time for Colts sports. It's Eagles against Saints. On Thursday, it will be Wildcats against the Ducks. And for second lunch, it's the Cowboys against the Rams, and on Thursday, it's the Rams versus the Gators. Go Colts! For Thursday, girls basketball practice will be happening from 3.15 to 5.30 p.m. in the gym. Go Colts! Yay! Hey Colts, Red Ribbon Week is coming up this month on the 24th through the 28th. Monday is a letter to your future self and you dress up at your future career. Tuesday is Stump Out Drugs, dress up as a superhero. Wednesday is Turn Out Drugs, be prepared to do karaoke. Thursday is to have a bright future without drugs, so wear neon colors. <coughs> Friday is music at lunch and wear green. Be drug free! Be drug free! Be drug free. <laughs> Aw, that'll do it for today. Bye bye, we hope you have a great day Colts. Don't forget! We're only on air for Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. I'm Beyonce. I'm Ariana Grande. I'm Shakira. <laughs> Thanks for watching. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye.